purpose of this video is to cover some of the important differences between the Microsoft Dynamics RMS point-of-sale software and the Retail Management Hero point-of-sale software. Many retailers using RMS are considering or are in the process of upgrading to Retail Management Hero. We don't want to scare anyone away, just want to kind of set the stage for some of the differences between the two programs. So let's cover our first difference here, and that is going to be just the general user interface and the modules. So if we look at the modules with Microsoft RMS, we are used to Store Operations Manager, Store Operations Point of Sale, and Store Operations Administrator. With Retail Management Hero, or RMH, we have the Administrator. We pick up a Loyalty Module the point of sale, manager, and stock take. Stock take is very similar to the physical inventory uh, feature function that you had in RMS Manager. Look and feel. If we compare RMS point of sale, you're probably used to this screen. You might have some differences as far as buttons and information across the top. But if we compare that against Retail Management Hero, we can see the look and feel is quite a bit different. Uh, the information is still there, but things have been moved around, updated, made more touchscreen friendly. It doesn't take too long to get used to this. We can still rely on most of our F2, F7, and F12 keys that we might be used to, as well as using a touchscreen or a mouse. Now, not all the functions have carried through as far as those weird combinations like Control Shift, whatever, and Control Alt, and all that. But again, most of them are there. If we look at Store Operations Manager, probably used to our lovely 2003 era software with pull down menus to do just about anything. If we switch over to Retail Management Hero, the manager part of the software, we will notice that a lot of the things have been shifted along the side. So our setup options, etc., use kind of a, a tree menu type system. Again, not critically different, just something that is worth pointing out. Next item, computer requirements. So we all have to keep in mind Microsoft RMS was developed in the early 2000s based off of a program called uh, Quixel 2000, Quixel Commerce, Quixel HQ that was developed in the 1990s. If you are still using your original RMS equipment, I can pretty much tell you that it is not suitable for running Retail Management Hero. You know, if you've got Windows XP and two gigabytes of memory and an old Citizen 3535 matrix receipt printer, uh, you're just, you need to look at replacing that equipment. Now, if you have refreshed everything, when I say everything, I mean the computer equipment and the peripherals like the receipt printer, cash drawer, customer pull displays, barcode scanners, barcode printers, things like that. If you have refreshed all that within the last few years, it should be suitable for running Retail Management Hero. I would highly, highly, highly advise that you pull together a list of everything and have your Retail Management Hero partner our dealer, reseller, consultant, take a look at it and confirm compatibility ahead of time so there are no surprises after the upgrade. Another key difference, lack of drill down in customer purchase history and reports. So what I mean by that is if we go into Microsoft RMS point of sale, and we are in the midst of looking up a customer and the customer wants to know about something we can look at their properties we can look at their purchase history and then our magic magnifying glass appears and we can even drill deeper 
like maybe looking at that item that they purchased. Where I'm going with this is this option is not currently available in Retail Management Hero. I can definitely go to a customer and I can look at their history, but no magic magnifying glass appears. So I am just looking here. I'm not able to drill down to get more details. Likewise, if I am doing a report in Microsoft RMS, we can go to, let's run our good old detailed sales report. And let's remove that and run it. Once again, magic magnifying glass appears and we can drill deeper to get more detailed information. Again, that is presently not in Retail Management Hero. Again, I'm not trying to scare you away from Hero, just trying to, again, set the stage for some of these differences so it isn't catching folks off guard as you upgrade. So we're going to run the same report. You can see it is a static report. We can do some sorting on the columns and things like that, but we're not going to have our magic magnifying glass to uh, drill deeper to get additional information. Okay, that covers that one. Next up on our list, purchase order creation process and the purchase order window. In Microsoft RMS, we are used to going to inventory, purchase orders, seeing our list or creating a new purchase order, and then we have our criteria that we can set for doing our purchase order creation. Little different, not super different in Retail Management Hero, but just different enough that it does catch people off guard. So we can do purchase orders and see our open and received purchase orders as well as create a new purchase order for manual entry. However, if we want to use what maybe we've set as rear points on items, things like that, then we first need to do a purchase order requisition. And then we see our options for suppliers and reorder points and departments and things like that. Again, just, just different enough that it catches people off guard. The other thing to note, in Microsoft RMS, we had some flexibility for doing reporting and purchase orders. In Retail Management Hero, if we have a report, I should have just left that report running. We'll quickly run another detailed sales report. And what we have now is we can't get back into Retail Management Hero Manager. So if you're one of those folks that likes to look at reports while doing your purchase orders, I uh, don't have that capability unless you have two computers or you're printing out the reports. So just keep that in mind that this covers up the option. Likewise, if I am creating a purchase order, that blocks me from creating a report. So please do keep that in mind. If that's something you're used to, you will need to adjust. Another, probably not critical difference, but worth mentioning is not being able to add products at point of sale. Depending on our permissions as an employee, if we are in Armist point of sale, we can create a new item right from the point of sale screen. That option is not presently available in Retail Management Hero. Definitely look up items, things like that. However, you'll notice there's no, no new option for creating a new item. Another key difference, integrated processing, talking about our merchant services. Microsoft RMS, we're used to the EDC settings in admin where we could go in, put in some information, and then plug in our USB pin pad and swipe. That has changed. Now, that is mainly due to the fact that the industry has changed. 
the security requirements, the processors, the merchant service companies have changed, the equipment has changed, just everything has changed. So let's use the word changed one more time. And let's take a look at retail management here with the options, since this is something that you definitely need to address ahead of time. If we look at our setup options in Retail Management Hero, we are setting up payment profiles. Presently, this is what is supported. You can use Vantive, formerly known as Mercury, Cayenne, formerly known as Merchants Warehouse, WorldPay, Heartland, BankTech, and a couple of places that don't even offer processing in the US. Now, if you would like to avoid this, you can use Card Defender. Card Defender was extremely popular for RMS because it takes all the security risk out of RMS and puts it into the latest and greatest in payment terminals for chip cards and Apple Pay and Google Wallet and Signature Capture and all that fun stuff and still integrates with RMS. The good news is Card Defender also integrates with Retail Management Hero. So you can use a processor agnostic solution need to chat about it ahead of time because we have to talk about platforms for processing being that Card Defender presently supports TSIS, First Data, and Heartland. Okay, enough on merchant services. Licensing scheme differences. So Microsoft RMS we were used to buying a lane license and then installing the manager on as many computers as we wanted, depending on our capabilities with our computer equipment and network. It's a little different now when we go over to Retail Management Hero. So we're going to start with the Armis users that are current on their annual maintenance. Every Retail Management Hero sale starts with a base license that includes one point of sale and two manager. There are your costs you're going to be purchasing then for additional point of sale licenses. And then you can have up to 10 manager licenses at no cost. Now, that changes drastically if you are lapsed on your RMS maintenance. Here's your cost for your base license, which again, one point of sale, two manager. Additional point of sale. And then now, if you want additional manager licenses, here are the costs. And by the way, the reason there's two prices is just like Microsoft RMS, you have the license cost and you have your first year of required maintenance. After that, the maintenance is highly advisable, but optional. So do plan for that if you have uh, a setup. I mean, I've worked with retailers where there's been 10, 12, 15 manager computers because the accountant, warehouse, et cetera, et cetera, all wanted a copy of it. So that's going to be a little different. Depending on your situation, you might incur some costs for additional licensing. All right, next up, journal files and accounts receivable. I can't show you this, but please be prepared. If you are upgrading from RMS to RMH, you cannot open the old RMS journal files or any older accounts receivable activity in Retail Management Hero. What we advise in this situation is to simply have one computer that continues to run RMS to use for any historical information. And also, as time passes, you'll use it less and less, but that is the easiest way to uh, look up any historical data specific to the journal files and accounts receivable. Okay, I don't want to say that I've covered everything, but hopefully I've hit the highlights, especially from conversations from some of the retailers that we've worked with that have recently upgraded to RMH from RMS. If you have any questions, we can be emailed at sales at right.us or our toll free number is 888-267-7483. Thanks for watching.